Hello again, just wanted to take a minute to talk about the uh, 20345 Dodge Neon SRT4, uh, referencing uh, some of the information regarding uh, how to properly set up the timing belt and as well as the timing. Uh, what you see here is the timing gear sprocket, which after 14 years of being on my car was quite difficult to remove. Um, it just took a half an inch impact gun and a whole lot of time and eventually it came off. Anyway, uh, from the factory you can see the little yellow arrow uh, was marked. I never did that. Uh, somebody in the factory did it. And uh, you'll take a look and if you see how it lines up with the uh, left edge of that timing gear sprocket, uh, if you follow that line straight back, you'll see the lineup mark on the... Uh, um, rear timing belt cover. Let me show you that really quick. And that arrow right there near the center of the screen is the uh, mark that you're going to see. And uh, I stand corrected, that's not on the timing belt cover, that's actually on the uh, oil pan. Um, so that's the mark that you're going to line up the edge of that uh, uh, timing gear sprocket when you get everything lined up. Trying to get it as humanly close to top dead center as possible, which is not ultra, ultra critical that you hit it within a half a millimeter. Um, however, because the timing belt is a certain size, it's going to become pretty close. The other thing I wanted to point out, um, which the manual doesn't really even talk about. Let's see here. If you look very carefully, obviously, you can see the two marks there on the two pulleys that will get lined up. Uh, when you take the timing belt off, there's some tension built up inside of the cam because there's uh, valves and springs. And if you don't know exactly what top dead center is, uh, top dead center is when the number one cylinder or number one piston is at the uppermost point and the intake valves and exhaust valves are fully closed. However, that's the number one cylinder. All the rest of the cylinders are in some state of up or down or, or valves are opening or closing. So there's some tension built up there. So when you take the timing belt off, the uh, teeth may jump. But when you finally get everything lined back up again, um, it, you'll want to get everything as close as you possibly can. One thing that the book illustrates but doesn't talk at all about is there's a mark on the other side of the cam and the exhaust cam uh, sprocket is the same thing so what you would do in order to make sure that you are really really at top dead center and you're not just kind of improvising or getting close enough if you take a ruler and you run across poor lighting but anyway, if you run across the center of the bolt holes, or the center of the bolts, I should say, and you run through those timing marks there, and you run through the edge timing mark on the other side, everything should line up pretty much exactly. As you can see right now, it's not doing that. But um, once I get closer to installing everything, I will make sure that everything's just about there so that the uh, left mark on the um, exhaust sprocket and the right mark on the exhaust sprocket and the left mark on the intake sprocket and the right mark on the intake sprocket along with the two bolts all pretty much run straight through the middle to be all fully lined up and that in fact will be top dead center so get the sprocket lined up down below get the uh, um, get the uh, intake and exhaust manifold sprockets uh, I'm sorry, the uh, intake and exhaust cam sprockets lined up with those marks there, there, and maybe, if you're lucky, down there. Uh, then you will actually be at top dead center. And at that point, you apply it, you uh, apply tension on the tensioner, you torque it down to the proper torque spec, and then you rotate the engine through clockwise uh, two full turns. And you make sure that the marks on the timing gear sprocket, as well as the uh, intake and exhaust sprockets, all line up. And if you've done that, you're all done. Good to go. So, just wanted to point that out. I uh, hope everybody uh, 
learned a little bit about how to properly set up the timing on these engines and uh, um, I screwed up royally on my 96 Neon, had to take it to a shop to have them fix it, so I will uh, do a better job this time.